uh, you know, as I said, you know, I told the head of the Royal Show this morning, uh, you know, it's very regrettable and I'm very sorry what's happened. It's just uh, awful for them. You know, you can feel the disappointment across regional communities and families. Uh, but uh, we had to do the right thing here. Well, we're getting advice from the Chief Health Officer on other shows around the state and other events around the state as to whether or not there's any issues. Um, clearly, um, you know, people want to go somewhere and gather. Uh, very difficult to ban that. Um, it's more about events, organised formal events where you can't trace uh, who uh, has been to that event. You can't track them, you can't trace them, you can't clean them. They're the sorts of things that we're looking at. We're getting some advice uh, from the Chief Health Officer about all of the other shows around the state and whether or not there's any issues. Um, that advice, I expect, will be forthcoming soon. What's the difference between giving advice to the football game and the Netflix Royal Show? Why is it the same? Well, as, as, I, was, as I was saying, uh, you, you can't trace. So the Royal Show has hundreds of thousands of people arriving. So the written advice is a few things. One is... You can't track and trace who goes to the Royal Show. There's no seating, there's no ticketing. Uh, all of those things are very, very difficult at the Royal Show. Secondly, uh, the surfaces at the Royal Show, uh, you know, the surfaces you might touch and the like, very difficult to keep them clean, uh, particularly the multitude of spaces and areas that are involved in the Royal Show, very difficult to have a cleaning and hygiene program in place for a Royal Show as opposed to other uh, venues. Uh, and uh, and the, uh, the proximity of people... Uh, particularly the crowding of people in, you know, sideshow alleys and the like. We've all been there. We've all seen it. We all know what it's like. Uh, makes it even more um, difficult and dangerous than any other venue, according to the advice we received. So we are formal advice. Um, we follow the advice. We do not ignore the health advice. Uh, it's served us well so far and will continue to do so. We're getting some advice on that um, as to whether or not that is appropriate and or lawful. Um, so we're getting some advice on that at this point in time. Obviously, we have some pretty strict requirements around people coming into Western Australia. Very strict, the strictest in the country. Uh, we have exempted federal MPs up until now, but obviously federal MPs going to Canberra in light of Victoria and then mixing with Victorians where they might share a flat or an apartment, because that's what they do over there, uh, is something we need to consider. So we're getting some formal advice on that now.